Hi, my name is Dr. Emily McCarty, and I am a pediatric hospitalist at Kootenai Health. I wanted to answer some common questions about RSV. RSV stands for respiratory syncytial virus. It's a virus that can cause a common cold or lead to severe breathing problems in some children. So who gets RSV? Nearly everyone. It's most common in babies between two and eight months old. Children born prematurely or with chronic lung or heart disease are at increased risk of developing more severe symptoms. The virus spreads through droplets in the air or droplets that land on surfaces after someone coughs or sneezes or touches their eyes or runny nose and then touches a surface or another person. If your child has RSV, they will develop symptoms that may include fever, cough, runny or stuffy nose. And if the infection worsens, symptoms may include faster breathing, noisy breathing, ribs that are pulling in with each breath, called retractions, nostrils flaring, or their lips or face turn a blue color. Your child may also become dehydrated. Signs of this include less frequent wet diapers, dry or sticky mouth, or no tears when crying. And these are all reasons that your child should be seen by a healthcare provider right away. Most children with common cold symptoms do not require medical treatment. We actually recommend against giving children cough suppressant or decongestant medications. There is no medicine to treat RSV, so if a child becomes sick with RSV and has to be in the hospital, we give supportive care while their body works to fight off the virus. We don't treat RSV with antibiotics because it's caused by a virus. Antibiotics only work against bacteria, and they have no effect on viruses. So how can you keep your child from getting RSV? Prevention is key. Lots of hand washing. Clean all toys and bedding that your child uses regularly every week if possible. Clean high touch surfaces daily like phones, computers, doorknobs, and try to avoid activities with other people who have respiratory symptoms like a runny nose or cough. And remember, if you have any concerns about your child and possible respiratory illness symptoms, reach out to your child's health care provider. We're all here to help.